Okay, here are the bottoms that I am taking. I'm only taking four bottoms and really I'll probably only wear um, these three and just alternate tops. These are a pair of thick black leggings from White House Black Market. Um, I just wanted these as an evening option just with a longer top and longer like duster. I'll show you what I mean later, but um, anyway, that's more of a legging. So I, I won't wear those probably as much, but these are two pairs of jeans. One's from Target, the other's from Anthropology. Um, and then like I mentioned these before, my um, black jeans from Old Navy. So um, keeping it real simple and that's what my bottoms are going to be. Okay, I'm taking four dresses total. Um, and some of these will be day, some of these will be evening, some are kind of both. Um, this is from Anthropology Forever Ago. It's a, it can be a dress or it can be worn with leggings, with black leggings and still look good. So if the weather is kind of iffy, I've got that option. Kind of a three quarter sleeve. Um, this is a really light kind of summery dress from Loft and it's, stra uh, it's not strapless, it's sleeveless. And so I'm taking my denim jacket to wear over it. This might be cute. I think whenever we go, um, we're going to go see an outdoor production twice actually once at one is at the globe theater shakespeare's globe theater and the other is in regent's park it's a music, uh, seven brides for seven brothers so um i had this in mind for one or both those evenings just because it's kind of summery and light but i can still do a denim jacket and be cute this will probably not be evening um but it could be a good like day touring dress and this is from anthro forever ago Excuse me. And um, it's just a good, simple, short sleeve little chambray dress. And uh, very, very light and easy to wear. So I'm excited about that. I think that'll be good for maybe a day trip or um, something where I just want to look pulled together like the whole day. And I'm not able to change as easily in a hotel. And then this I got from a local store. If I can get it pulled out. And... It's just a short sleeve. Oh, this is like horrible. I don't know if you can even see this. It's just a short sleeve, um, shorter dress. And it's just light again and just easy to throw on. I don't need anything on top of it um, in order to wear it. And it's really cute. So those are the four dresses that I'm taking. No, I'm sorry. I'll show you my fifth one. Hang on just a minute. Okay, so this is already in the packing cube. I use packing cubes to pack, but this is my um, really special dress that I'm wearing for me and Kurt to get our uh, portraits made in London. We found a great photographer, and I'm going to let that kind of be a surprise what it looks like, but it's just a really pretty navy um, dress from Bowdoin. And so that is my fifth dress, but I'll probably only wear that just that one time for the photographs. But um, So again, just four main dresses and then my special dress. Okay, so this is the packing cube that has my pajamas and my undergarments in it. And I'll show a picture of this below, but basically I just brought like three or four pairs of my favorite Mayfair pajamas from Victoria's Secret. They're really light. I'll show a picture of them like full length in the video. But, um, and then I brought just one pair of like pajama pants and just one t-shirt um, just in case I need it. But really, really simple. I just, I'm going to wear... The same pair of pajamas, I want to say like three nights in a row, I counted for. Um, so that's not bad at all, and it all fits nicely in this packing cube. Okay, so here is my shirt slash top um, packing cube, and I'm just going to show these to you as I kind of set them out. Um, but I am taking probably more shirts than people would recommend. Um, but like I said, my weight is still so low in the suitcase. I don't even know how that happened, but it just is. Um, so I feel okay about that. And also I just like to have a couple of more options. I'm not taking an extravagant amount. I don't think, um, I'll rewear, you know, or I'll repeat, uh, several, but, uh, this is a really thick, good structured top from Banana Republic. And it's a deep v-neck and so this could actually work for evening um, with like black pants and heels and um, it's a really thick material and so again versatile I can wear a jacket with it if need me need, need me if need be um, so that's that one um, this is just a black dolman top um, 
again from like a local place and it's just a thin nice knit material you just never know if you'll need just a basic black and um, it's so light and thin that I threw it in it's a little shorter than I like to wear just alone with jeans um, so if I have a little jacket over it then I might wear it for that um, this is a top from anthropology that I got when it was on clearance and it's just a really pretty patterned um, bottom and it's just interesting I can wear it with jeans and everything that I packed goes with my go walks and maybe not an exact match but when you I'm wearing these I just don't feel like they stand out it's not like a tennis shoe you know so I feel like I can still wear a nice um, top it's a short sleeve um, or, you know, kind of elbow length. Um, but it's, you know, and some people would say, well, doesn't that wrinkle? It's not traveling friendly. Yeah, they do. But also the packing cubes help with that because you have things packed so tightly that they don't shift. Um, so you might have a little bit of wrinkle, but I'm taking a travel size of the downy wrinkle release that I can use in the hotel. Um, and I'm just not worried about it. I just really am not. So um, I'd rather, you know, have kind of a cute outfit and have a few wrinkles. So um, this is one of my favorite tops ever. And I hope y'all can see the shapes of these. Um, this is from Madewell. It's the only thing I've ever got from uh, Madewell. Or gotten, I'm sorry. But um, I absolutely love it. It's a coral color. It's so, you can wear it any time of the year. And it has like kind of a swing boxy shape. And um, it looks great with jeans and heels. Or it looks great with jeans and the go walks. And um, just really versatile and easy to wear. Um, this is a thin white little blouse. Um, and this is from Anthropology. Cloth and Stone is one of my favorite brands from Anthropology. And I get compliments on this and then the other one kind of like it. I get compliments on this every single time I wear it. I don't know why. I think people just, it looks pulled together, but it's so light and easy to wear. Um, so I'm still kind of debating on this because I don't know if I want white necessarily. I don't know. But, um, this is a good one. Um, this is a thicker sweater just because you don't know what the weather is going to do. Um, I, it's still short sleeve, so it's not too constricting, but it's really cute. Kind of a sixties vibe with the big pockets, but, um, this is so cute with my black jeans that I brought, um, or just regular jeans and it goes cute with my go walks. So, um, I could wear this, you know, all I had to do is change my shoes really to go to the theater or if I wanted to wear it for that, um, after daytime, but it is thicker. And so I would only wear this if I knew that it wasn't going to get too, too warm, but that's the, really the only kind of sweatery material that I, that I'm bringing. Um, this is from Target and this was such a re this is a recent find and i really love the shape of it it's a thicker cotton it's not flimsy it key it's very it's thick um but it's an olive green it's from target it's really it has a good kind of slenderizing shape and it's just cute it's casual but i think it still looks very pulled together um so that's like i said from target this is for an evening um look and i'm gonna wear probably my black dolman top that I showed earlier. This is like, you know, like a kimono kind of duster type. I got this at Nordstrom and I love this look with just like skinny black pants and little kitten heels and a black shirt. It's really comfortable, but it looks very evening. And I hope you can kind of see, it's just like an open front, um, long kind of kimono. And then this is my other cloth and stone, this is more the long tunic length. The other is just kind of a long, the white one is like a long blouse, but this is the one, oh my gosh, I, whenever I wear this, I get so many comments on it. Um, cloth and stone. I just love it from anthropology. And then the one other one I wanted to show, I forgot to put in my packing cube, um, is this one. And this is just so cute. Um, it's gingham. Again, has like a boxy shape, but um, just really cute from Anthropology. And when they recently had their tag sale, it was like an extra 70% off or something like that. And um, I view these as like really good investment pieces. Um, I, I wear my Anthropology stuff for years and years and years. And um, I just love it. And they just fit well and they're, they're made very well. So anyway, those are the tops that I'm taking. And like I said, I might edit just a few of those. 
Um, but I'm really pleased. I feel like it's just a versatile collection of tops. And um, like I said, every single one goes with my jeans or my black pants. So um, those are my tops. Okay, so here are the shoes that I'm taking. I know it's so exciting, right? The colors are just so vibrant, but um, the best thing to do is just to be neutral, um, in my opinion, when you're traveling. But um, all of these kind of serve a different purpose. And starting out, I am wearing these Go Walks literally every single day. This is my touring shoe, my walking shoe. Um, I'll wear these all day. Um, the only time that I'm going to change, I might, depending on where we're going, I might wear flip-flops. Um, these are Tory Burch and they're um, really comfortable, really high quality and well-made. And that's um, why I feel like I can take them just because they're not, you know, they're an investment. They're, they weren't cheap, but they just, they last so long and they're so comfortable on my feet. They don't have good arch support. So I would only take these, um, like I might wear these the day that we were doing like a tour of some like estates um, in the Kent area and I know I'm not going to be walking like miles upon miles that day. Um, so I might wear those on the day when I know I'm not going to have like real extensive walking. These were kind of a throw in at the last minute. These are just Sam and Libby from Target. They're black flats. They're not the like, I just have trouble getting flats that feel good on my feet. But these are just good in a pinch if I just needed something flat that could still be evening. You know, just simple black flat. Um, these are nine West. I've had them forever. They're just a kitten shape. I know that the pointy tail, like some people think is, you know, out or whatever. I just think it's kind of a classic look and I usually just wear them with, uh, skinny pants, black skinny pants. And they just, it just looks nice. Um, so for like nicer restaurants and theaters in the evening, um, I'll wear these and they're a kitten heel and easier to walk in. Um, so that's just a good option to have. And then these are my LK Bennett's and, um, this is my first designer shoe to ever buy. And I got these specifically for our photo shoot and I know I'll have them for the rest of my life. They're just beautiful. Um, and I just wanted to have them, um, to wear for our pictures in London. And this is the brand that Kate Middleton wears. And, um, I just planned and saved and, um, I got them in time for our trip. So I think they're just gorgeous. And, um, like I said, I'll just wear these with everything just for years and years and years. So these are the shoes that I'm taking. And, you know, I, I've heard that about three pairs of shoes is about right. But um, again, given my luggage weight right now, I'm totally fine. And I, I just, I like having the options. So um, these are the shoes that I'm taking. Okay, this is the three uh, elements of outerwear that I'm taking for our trip. Um, that's my denim jacket from Forever 21. It's a real thin denim, so it doesn't take up a lot of weight. And it's just a good jacket to have when traveling, in my opinion. Um, this is from Loft. It's a real thin windbreaker slash rain jacket. It was very important to me that it have a hood um, just because the weather can change on a dime in London. You just never know. Um, it goes down uh, below my hips so it has good coverage and I just love it. I think it was a great find. And then I already showed this but this is my linen trench. So it's a good lightweight jacket but um, I just love the look of it too. Uh, just a classic kind of London look. So those are the three outerwear things that I'm taking for our trip. Okay, so this is my suitcase and I have pr pretty much everything put in. And I just, for those of you not familiar with packing cubes, I just wanted to show you how it just helps so much. I mean, everything is organized. You just drop the packing cubes in and it keeps everything um, you know, from flip-flopping around. And, um, so I've got all my packing cubes in. This is just a little train case that has like my contact solution. Um, what else? Just, you know, girly products. Um, and then this is normally I would not take like full size products like this, but we're going to be traveling for 12 days. And I really, I just thought it was better just to take a full size. Kurt and I are actually going to share this shave, um, gel um he'll shave with it and i will use it as well so we're sharing that um i just i love my shampoo uh living proof and i just really wanted to take 
that with me i just get nervous with travel sizes i don't know why i just am convinced i'm gonna run out and i'm just dumb like that but anyway um so that's that and then these two products are for my hair um and me and my hairstylist were talking about um just the trip and how to keep my hair from getting real frizzy if it's rainy and um so these are two like one's a finishing gloss and one is a uh, serum so these are just kind of and what i'll probably do before we leave is like individually make sure these are wrapped um within this one big bag so that nothing leaks and then i don't know if you can see down here uh, I wrapped my shoes in just shoe bags, like canvas shoe bags. And then here is the rest. This is a dual voltage hair straightener uh, by Conair. And then I'm going to unwrap that before we go. But that's um, also by Conair. It's a dual voltage um, curling iron. And then this is, I should actually probably show you this. Um, this is, I can't remember what's the brand, Bestic, maybe, um, and I just, this had the best reviews on Amazon for the adapter converter, um, we are going to need different plugs, since my hair straightener and my curling iron are dual voltage, that means I don't need a converter, I just need an adapter, so what I will do is I will plug this in, um, and this makes it the right prongs. And then since it's dual voltage, it will automatically convert itself. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that works. If it doesn't, worst case scenario, I just go to like a Boots or, a, you know, whatever. And I get myself a UK um, appliance. But um, it's just going to be good to try. And I hope it works. And so I ordered these kind of extra prongs just in case. It was like a, it was like a pack of four. Um and then this is the actual like adapter converter. So once this is plugged in, um, it also came with USB ports, which is great for charging. And um, so yeah, and there's three different plugins. So I'm I'm thinking this will be a good uh, kit for us. Um, wet ones. It was funny. I read on like a website. Wet ones is like the duct tape of travel. Like you just always need wipes. <laughs> so I'll probably carry this. It's so light. It's just a little travel thing. So I'll probably carry that in my bag um, during the day. Just a brush. I'm going to add my other brushes in. Um, you just never know. I would just rather have something if we have something that we need to wash in the sink uh it's just good to have something familiar and um it's just these little travel pouches so um i got that what else do i have in here um i think oh this is good to show these are jockey uh, they're called shimmies i think is the name and they're not a shaper like they're they're not like constricting like a shaper but it's basically like what they're they're marketing it as like the modern slip and if if you're wearing a dress all day and you're doing a ton of walking that can get uncomfortable um and so this just is really soft and smooth and um it just is like bike shorts basically but super super soft and so it just kind of gives you an extra layer underneath that's still really light. So I'm going to try those out maybe on the days that I wear dresses. Um, but that's pretty much everything in my suitcase. And I can't believe that I'm packed for like basically, well, 12 days of touring, 14 days total with travel. But um, that's everything in there. And I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to document kind of what I took. Because like I said, I feel like um, sometimes it's hard Um this is yeah I mean oh my gosh um I think just sometimes it's hard to to find a video where it's not one extreme or the other and so I'm hoping that maybe this just showed like here's how you can kind of look cute and still be comfortable and I'm going to report back obviously when we get back I'll post these videos and I'll talk about how you know what I ended up wearing more and what I didn't wear so much and what worked and what didn't so um I'm excited to post these videos and um you know, I was like, oh, do I want to take the time to film all this? But I just, I think it's helpful. And, um, just to see how other people do things and, you know, you'll pack differently than me. I'll pack differently than you, but, um, hopefully this was, I don't know, just interesting. And I'm sure I'll be back. Um, gosh, tomorrow I'll be 
starting our vlogging as we leave on our trip. So I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.